Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and in today's tutorial, we'll learn about filter reduce and fold in Julia. So, filter is usually used to apply a set of condition or a function to every item in a collection, such as not to return the result of those things that meet the condition. So, let's say you have a list, right, or a collection, then you're applying a certain condition to filter out every element that meets that condition and bring it as the result. So, the synthesis is like the filter. And then the condition or the function and the collection. So let's try that and see. So let's say you want to you want to get all the all numbers within a value of hand one to hundred. So you can do this like filter, right? And then we use what we learned previously, the lambda function. So x and then x is equal to s modulus two, right? Is going to give us one and then that is like if we divide it every value if we divide it by two if we get a remainder one then give us the result so this is going to be our filter condition that's going to be used to filter it and then we're going to get our values on these two hundred so it's going to filter them perfectly out and give us only the odd numbers because that is the odd number that meets this condition so that is idea about the filter Okay, so, so it is a condition here and then a collection. So it's going to filter them throughout and then give us the result. So let us perfectly finish. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So these are odd, odd numbers. So that's the idea about the filter. So let's move on to the reduce. So I have a picture to show for the reduce. For example, let's say the reduce is like this. So we have a set of items right in the collection and want you the idea of the reduce that I want to reduce all of them to give me a final result it's going to be an item not a collection so I have three and four so I want to the, the idea of the reduce that's going to add the first items right and the result is going to get it's going to apply to the next item like that so three and four is going to give us seven apply that with store it in a different variable the seven and then add it to the next as the next argument for the next one and then the other one so three and four is seven then add seven to five give us twelve and then add six to twelve give us eighteen so it's going to return this one as the last argument it's not going to return a collection but rather going to return one single item okay so let's try that one and see so just as we did we did three five seven right Three, four, five, six. So you can just use a reduce like that. Reduce, and then let's say we have three. So it will take two arguments: your function, which is our plus, then our collection, which was three, four, five, and then six. Right. So it will perfectly work for us. Give us eighteen as we had in the diagram. So that it's going to take three, add it to four. This one seven, and then use us add number to this. So this same thing can be done as this sum, and then the same values here that we have. So this is the same as this reducing it, and then we can also do the same thing for put put product. So this same thing can be done using the reduce. Then let's make it like this, and our value and it's perfectly going to work for us. Just 360. So that's the idea of the reduce. So these ones are inbuilt ones. But there's the idea of the reduce. There's also something called fold, which is going to follow the same sentence of adding the values, but it's going to associate based on the direction, whether it is right or left. So we have fold left, right? The same value of plus and then our value. So it's going to start from the left, add it onwards. You can also do the same thing for Fold left, fold right. So the fold left is really like the normal reduce. You may not be able to see the difference here, but when because it is positive, but in case I make it negative, you will realize the difference. So let's make it fold left, right? And then let's make it negative. See, it's negative 12, but if you do fold right, the same value is going to give us. Negative two. So this one is going to start from the right to 
this place and this one will start from the left to the to the right so that's the idea about the fold so thank you for watching if you have any questions or contributions and put it in the comment section so that everybody can also benefit and please don't forget to like and, and then share stay blessed